We have all seen it happen. One sniff of catnip and your snobby, self-possessed feline turns into a frenzy furball of euphoria, plus drool. But have you ever wondered why catnip plants make this kitty drug in the first place? Spoiler, it probably has nothing to do with cats and everything to do with creepy insect body snatchers. <coughs> Pet owners who want to treat their cat to a special psychedelic borderline X-rated experience have turned to catnip for centuries. Some people even speculate that cat-worshipping ancient Egyptians may have spoiled their kitties with a little catnip, given that the plant is native to the Middle East as well as Europe and Asia. These days, though, people may opt for twee toys stuffed with the dried plant when they want to make offerings to their feline overlord. Or for those who like to mix a little hygiene and hallucinogens, there's Humphrey's Handmade Crazy Cat Lady Soap. It's got lavender for you and catnip for kitty. Good luck getting your cat to lather up, though. And now you can even kick back with your feline bestie and enjoy a glass of vino. A company called Apollo Peak produces fine feline snack wines. Their red pinot meow is made with catnip, beet juice, and sea salt, but no alcohol. Thanks to chemistry, we know that most kitties really only care about a chemical called nepotalactone found in the catnip plant. Nepotalactone is a terpenoid, a class of chemical that's also found in things like cloves, ginger, even cannabis. And it's not just house cats that love the compound. Back in the 1940s, some intrepid University of Wisconsin chemists went to a zoo in Madison to try out their nepotalactone extract on a handful of lions. According to those chemists, the lions were, quote, aroused immediately from a state of lethargy to one of intense excitement. Please do not try this at your local zoo, folks. In reality, catnip plants couldn't care less about giving cats a chemical high. They make nepotalactone and an associated chemical called nepotalactol as a defense against insect pests, particularly nefarious sap-sucking aphids. These bugs swarm over plants and literally suck out the juicy flesh inside. As it turns out, nepotalactone and nepotalactol are actually aphid sex pheromones. Oh, Seems odd, yeah. right? that the plant makes its enemies sex pheromones as protection. But in this case, it's actually ingenious. When the plant is growing in summer, aphids aren't typically reproducing sexually. Believe it or not, they just clone themselves. Since no summer sex is on the agenda, sex pheromones made by the plant probably won't attract that many aphids. But the pheromones do attract aphid predators, like the lacewing fly and a creepy wasp that literally lays its eggs inside live aphids. These wasp eggs hatch inside the aphid and eat it alive from the inside. Why, hello, alien. So to recap, the catnip plant produces aphid pheromones to attract aphid enemies. It's an awesomely cruel application of the enemy of my enemy is my friend strategy. And you thought plants were pretty. Nah. -uh. As you might suspect, researchers are keen to capitalize on the fact that the catnip plant has a potent defense against aphids and other pests. Chemical giant DuPont partnered with San Francisco-based Entomol products to produce a catnip plant extract that they claim repels a wide variety of biting insects with effectiveness similar to the common repellent DEET. But one hopes the product doesn't also attract elated stray cats for a little flea-ridden nuzzle. So does your cat flip its pancake over catnip? Tell us in the comments. And if you want more chemistry videos in your life, make sure to hit the subscribe button here. Thanks for watching.